If you want to see how I transform my hoodie with a new design, stay tuned. Let's jump into the intro. Everybody, welcome to our happy place. My name is C. I am the owner of CLM Custom Designs on Etsy, and my channel is all things crafting. So if you've been here before, welcome back. And if you're new, Come on in and take a seat and let's get ready to learn something. Today, um, I wanted to show you how to fix an old hoodie. I got this hoodie a long time ago and I always forget about wearing it because when I pull it out, you may be able to see it all up. And so that is not cute. So I'm like, okay, I need to go ahead and fix this because I want to wear this hoodie. It's still chilly in my parts of town. Anyway, so what I am literally going to do is to take Caesar iron-on glitter literally just going to open it and I might have should have already had this open but anyhow I am going to open it and again it's just there iron-on glitter Got this from Michaels. I'm going to measure, and I'll bring you down so you can see what I want to do. I'm just so here's the shirt. Right. I'm going to literally just measure it. Make sure it covers everything, so I might need to go a little bit bigger. So I'm going to go like 11 for the width and I'm thinking six for the height. So by six, move this out of the way, bring in my cutter, Cricut, measure this out to be 11 by six. Let's make Yep, and I actually can probably take a little bit off the end, but I could just center it so it's fine. I don't have to. Alright, so that's about right. Put the work on the back. Alright, so now that I have this already done, I need to find a design that is um, 11 by 6. So. I'm going to go over to, so that will be opening in just a moment, and I am going to open file, merge, what do I want to put on this hoodie, I think I'm just going to put my logo. Always uh, walking around representing somebody else. How about representing yourself? So let me go into my pictures and find my logo. Okay, here we go. All right. Well, here's the page we want it to be. So this is what we're going to start with 11 by 6. See what that looks like. It's too fat. And let's bring this down to 10. rotate it because obviously we want it to fit on the paper. This is a pretty long design. Leave it 
on black because it's going on that white glitter. I think that'll look good. Okay, I decided to go a whole different way with this design to add a little pop of color. I've already printed it out. You know, with sublimation, you have to mirror it. So it is backwards. Let's go over to the heat press and see what I'm going to do next. I was doing another project and I see that it has some goo on here. So I need to wipe this off. Always something going on. You are a crafter. Glad I seen that though, because I would have been more than upset had that come on my shirt. But I am going to use a Teflon sheet anyway, just to be sure, in case I did not get it all. But if that ever happens, make sure you wipe it off while your press is hot. Because it's so much easier to get off that way okay so anyway back to this I'm actually going to lay a teflon sheet down and I am going to here's the glitter that we had I am simply going to peel this away from the plastic carrier sheet. Okay. Peeling this off. Now we just have the glitter. Got the carrier sheet. Here's the design. I'm going to trim it a little bit so that it fits so that I can see it and make sure that it fits the way I want it to fit inside this piece of glitter. And now I have the adhesive side of the glitter down. The reason why I put it on the Teflon sheet is because it won't stick to the Teflon sheet. I'll be able to peel it right up after I press this down, which you'll see in just a second. I've trimmed my design down. I'm gonna place it down now. I can get a good visual of where I want it at on this um, piece of glitter. That looks good to me. I'm eyeballing it. It's for me. So we don't have to worry about that. I am going to place this over top. This is sublimation, so it's going to go for on 400 degrees for 60 seconds. Put it down to 60 and enter. Okay. Make sure my pressure is good. And if you want to see it funny, I just burnt the crap out of this bag because I forgot to turn my heat press down. I was doing like two or three projects this morning and simply forgot to turn it down. So which is one reason why I always buy extra material or have extra um, blanks because inevitably something's going to be messed up and you don't want to run out. But that video will be coming soon. Let's see, we're almost done with this shirt. Okay, so pull this off. Now I am going to peel up the design. You can see that it is beautiful so I am going to now peel this off of the Teflon sheet peel this off okay and so here we are and what I'm going to do now is my shirt, my hoodie, Put back on my heat press, okay, all right, I want to lay this piece of glitter vinyl over top of the existing design that is 
completely ratty make sure everything is covered because this E is going to stick to this and you will not be able to peel it up once you have finished I'm going to cover it with a Teflon sheet Make sure my pressure is good. You know what? I'm going to put a pressing pillow inside. All that is going to do is just kind of raise this portion up a little bit so that I can make sure that I get some good contact. Contact. Check my pressure and loosen it up a little bit. This is not going to go for the full 60 seconds because it shouldn't even be on 400. But again, I'm going to watch it. A couple of seconds, pull this back out. So you can see that well, you might not be able to see, but my sweatshirt kind of moved a little bit and so therefore I'll show you in a second. Let me take this pillow off. Okay. Here you go. Right here. And I don't know if you can see maybe if I zoom in right at the top. Um, my sweatshirt must have moved a little bit so some of the old design is peeking out. You know me, I'm going to see what I can do. Of course, it's for me, so that doesn't bother me. Um, if you were doing it for yourself or for a client, I would say maybe make this a little bit wider so you don't have to worry about that margin of error. Um, for me, I'm good. Let me show you what I'm going to do to fix that. Okay, guys, what I have done is heat up my Cricut Mini Press. I've tucked it inside my shirt. Give you a close up. I am heating the underside so that this side, this right here, becomes loose. And as you can see, I now I'm trying to do all of this with one hand can pick this right on off. Because if you didn't know, if you heat the underside of vinyl, it will release. I have to be careful not to release this other side. But let me go ahead. And uh, get all of this up. It's going to be a tedious process, um, but I'll show you when it's all finished. All finished. My hoodie is done and ready for me to wear tomorrow. I have put CLM Custom Designs on it. I am absolutely loving it. I cleaned up that portion that we talked about earlier. Um, I didn't get it 100%, but like I said, good enough for me, but I could have still continue to work with it. The rest will come out when I wash it, but yeah, I'm so excited. So I sublimated my logo onto some, um, white Caesar glitter, iron on vinyl. And yeah, until now you can't even tell that it was not purchased this way. So thanks so much for hanging out with me. I hope you had fun watching me transform this hoodie. Now, you know, if you have an old hoodie, an old shirt, something where the vinyl is coming off, you can totally, totally keep the same hoodie and just go ahead and give it a new look. That's what I did. Anyway, until we meet each other again, bye-bye. If you want to see how I fix, um, if you...